hoping to get greater allotments in the future so that we can fully vaccinate everyone. And now health departments are one step closer to making that happen. The governor is expanding eligibility for the COVID vaccine. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Paul is off tonight. In less than a month, everyone 16 and older will be able to get the shot. That means we're getting closer to opening up the entire state, but a lot has to get done in the meantime. WCI 3's Jamie Mays is with us. Jamie, you spoke to health departments. Do they have any concerns about this plan? Just they say they're ready. In the past, health departments have seen a demand for the vaccine they weren't always able to fill. So they're looking forward to being able to give more doses. More people will be able to get their dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Governor Pritzker announced starting April 12th, he's expanding eligibility to people who are 16 and older. I think it's actually a good thing. It's a step in the right direction. The Fort County Health Department says weeks ago there was a great demand for the vaccine. Now things have changed. It seems to be uh, tapering down and slowing down a little bit, which I think is a sign that We've done a really good job vaccinating those who have been interested. We've been getting enough allocation, um, but so now it's kind of a, a good thing, good news for us that they're opening up so that um, we can continue to vaccinate the county. And Sarah Bush Lincoln Health Center in Mattoon says they already have a plan in place to handle the increase in people who will be eligible. Working really closely with the health department um, to ensure that we have everything in place so that if we do get a larger allotment, um, we'll be able to vaccinate um, a large number of people. We have enough staff. We currently employ 2,500 um, people here at Sarah Bush Lincoln, so we're able to adjust some of their roles over to the vaccination clinic. The Vermilion County Health Department says they have support too. We have some additional resources and assets, uh, additional vaccine, additional supplies, and additional personnel provided by the state. So we have Illinois National Guard troops who are helping us with our clinics here in Vermillion County. The administrator says help from the National Guard is temporary, so they are working with other hospitals to ensure they can administer the doses to people once the Guard leaves the county. Those health departments say they're still encouraging testing as well. Not as many people are checking their status, but they're reminding people to take advantage of testing if necessary. Back to you, Jessica. All right, Jamie, thank you. The governor also addressed reopening to phase five. The first move toward that phase will be to increase capacity limits at businesses. That'll only happen if 70% of seniors are vaccinated. Phase five means no capacity limits, and that can only happen if half of people 16 years and older are vaccinated. You can find more details on our website.